How's it? Today we are going to review the incredibly sexy Kometa Orion Bullpup. So many things I love about this rifle, but before we get into the detail, I want to start by saying thanks to Conrad and his team at National Cartridge Company for introducing me to this, the Hawk Sidewinder. Um, this is by far one of my favorite scopes that I've ever shot with. So many things that I really like about this, but one of my favorite features is the fact that it's got a 10 centimeter or a four inch eye relief. So as long as you are within 10 centimeters of this reticle, you've got a crystal clear sight picture, which I really enjoy. It also comes with the side wheel uh, for micro parallax adjustment. So you always have a crystal clear sight. One of the last things that I like about it is the zoom lever. So um, I didn't need it because this is incredibly, incredibly smooth, but how it looks cool. So I'll definitely be putting that on the scope very soon. Even though the scope is rated for 6.5 Creedmoor, 303 or even 50 cal, I believe it's the perfect, perfect soulmate for any PCP rifle. And therefore, this will become my official recommendation for air rifles or PCP air rifles going forward. But let's focus on the star of today's show, which is the Orion Bullpup. Lots of things that I love about this rifle. Firstly, the barrel is a cold hammered steel barrel, which means that it's extremely accurate with the caveat that you have to give it your fullest attention. And we'll speak about that in just a second. It comes with a 300 cc cylinder that can be filled to 200 bar, which means that this can easily be used with a hand pump. I could get about 33 clean shots through the regulator um, at about 910 feet per second and an additional 15 shots at about 850 feet per second. So in total about 50 clean shots from a hunting perspective and if you can't kill your target within 50 shots you should be vegan. Now speaking about the regulator, this comes with a lancet regulator that works absolutely perfect and this regulator has got one of these quick fill probes. Now it's the first time I use an air rifle with a quick fill probe and I really really like it. Except for the fact that this rifle has a massive design flaw in the sense that this full probe is so close to the buttstock of the rifle that if you don't concentrate for a second and you just turn it a millimeter out it will scratch this beautiful stock and in my case i had to put on clean underpants once that happened so that's the one thing that i have against this rifle is the fact that 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 is so close but it works absolutely perfect now let's look at the trigger for this specific rifle. The safety is embedded within the trigger guard. Very easy to activate and it's obviously ambidextrous. So just push it forward and I can now fire, pull it back and the rifle is safe. One of the things that I like about this is if I cock this rifle, I also have the ability to decock it. So if I just keep it back and I pull the trigger, you'll see that it's decocked, which is a, a lovely feature for this specific rifle. This is a two-stage trigger, but I have to be honest, I had to fight with this trigger because it's not adjustable. So let's go and have a look at what this trigger measures. So we'll just go and cock it and let's use And this is 3.6 pounds, 3.6 pounds, which is absolutely perfect for hunting, especially if you're hunting in the winter and you've got gloves on, 3.6 pounds is exactly where you want to be, but it is not great for target shooting. 
uh, and I experienced that on the range. I'll take you through that. Um, like I mentioned, this is extremely, extremely accurate as long as you give it your fullest attention. It's like anything this sexy in life. If you give it, give it your fullest attention, it will perform well. But the moment you let your eyes off the ball, it will fling a shot left field that will absolutely break your heart. So we'll have a look at what that looks like on the range. This rifle also comes with a beautiful heart case and it's got these mounts for a sling or a bipod. This specific bullpuff also came with a moderator and I have to say that this moderator gave me serious secret agent vibes. Hence the ridiculous Rhino video that precedes this one. So I'm just going to go in and put this in. So I can honestly say this moderator made a huge use difference to the sound profile of this rifle. And I would personally use the rifle with the, the moderator itself. If we look at the magazine, the magazine is a little bit unorthodox in the sense that if I look at the magazine like this, I have to sort of turn it anti-clockwise all the way, turn it around, take the first pellet and load it with the projectile facing me. And then once that grabs, I can turn it back around and I can continue to feed it normally. Now it works perfectly fine. It's just the first time I did that. It was a little bit unorthodox, like I mentioned, but it absolutely worked perfectly fine. So let's take this rifle to the range and have a look at how it performs.
So I can honestly say I enjoyed my time at the range with this rifle. But let's get into the final review. The first review deals with performance. And this was extremely consistent as long as I gave it my full attention and has to get a solid 4 out of 5 for performance. The second rating goes for build quality. And this is a beautifully designed and beautifully built rifle. So once again, it has to get a solid 4 out of 5 for build quality. If we look at the third rating, it deals with ergonomics and comfort. And this rifle just wants to be held, it wants to be cuddled. So thoroughly enjoyed shooting this rifle and it has to get a solid 4 out of 5. So the final rating and most important is, is this value for money? And the answer to that is most definitely yes. If you're going to buy this as a hunting rifle, it is incredible value for money. Hey guys and girls, thank you so much for watching. Please, if you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe and follow us on any of your preferred social media platforms. Thanks so much and see you in the next video.